Okay, time for the sixth and final game. Let's battle one last time. Alright, so... Even though we don't have a 2-drop, the hand's pretty good, so I'm happy to keep it on the play, I think, given the double commando into Rider and having good influence. I, at least we can go commando into commando, which is great against a lot of decks. Other than, like, Aelstorm decks, I guess. And there is another power. Or Shattering Rider, so that's working out pretty well. Also, all we need now is a fifth power, which is primal for the double Beast Caller, and we are all set for now. Um. Hmm. I think I'll actually just go in for the Commando here. Deals an extra damage right away and gives us more health. Okay, like what's up with the wasps with the wasps today? There's a fifth power, but not what we were looking for. It's a bit annoying, but we have the gem blade to make this useful still, so... But yeah, about time to find the primal here, I'd say. There's the primal. Although, a bit annoying that he now has a fatty, so let's hope we find a way around this. That's not what I wanted here, unfortunately. I guess we just drop more fatties, hit for three, and set up double block. Like, we can even double block there, so. Although that runs the risk of getting blown out by Equivocate. I rather am careful with that. Okay, that's a big problem. Like, we can't even stall it anymore. Hmm. Guess at this point we just kind of try and draw something to get out from under this. And that was not it. Yes, I'll use this, see if we find the finest hour. Which also tested for equivocate, which he seems to have. So yeah. Go for another one, but yeah, we're basically done here. I guess we'll double block and then get blown out by the equivocate he seems to have, and then we're just done. And we got an upgrade, so that's nice. Okay, no equivocate. Surprising. But yeah, more fatties. With us running behind on answers. Alright, that's it, we're done. Unfortunate draw, I mean, we have eight... Up to eight answers for this sort of stuff. Sure, permafrost would have got blown out by the... 
evolution, but by that time we maybe would have drawn enough cards with our Feast Carlos to not care. Then we even had the finest hours that we could have drawn, just didn't find anything. Happened sometimes. Bit unfortunate. Alright, all in all the deck did pretty well. We lost twice to the same Chalice guy, and Chalice is a pretty bad matchup for the deck as it stands. So, if you see a lot of Chalice, which I doubt you will, I would not recommend playing just as mid-range decks, but uh, since that's not really a concern, don't be swayed by these two unfortunate pairings. And yeah, that's it for Feasting Horu. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a try. I think it's a very robust place to start messing with the new Feast Car. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you enjoyed it and or found it helpful, please consider dropping a like down here and subscribing to the channel to not miss out on any future content. And that was Manu S with um, Eternal Contenders Feasting Horu. I thank you for watching and I'm signing off. See you next time. Bye.